Maraming maraming salamat po. Glory to God. Bigyan po natin yung palakpak sa atin pong ama. Sa ating ama na nagagalak siya ngayon na ang kanyang mga anak ay magkakasama. Hindi lang po dito sa Mamlaka, kundi sa online. Glory to God. At ang kanya pong anointing and blessing transcends time and location. Kaya po lahat ng mga nasa online, binabati po namin kayo. Salamat po. At pwede na po kayong maupo. Thank you. Uh, maraming salamat. Unang-una sa ating amang hari. At uh, siya po ang nagdala sa bawat isa sa atin dito sa Mamlaka Broadcast. Pastor Joe Dapin, maraming salamat sa ng iyong pamilya at ang ministry na ito, ang worship team. Uh, salamat sa nagbuo sa araw na ito at ang mga bisita. Kamusta po kayo dyan? At yung pong mga nasa online, uh, binabati ko po kayo. Uh, lahat po ng mga nununood sa buong Pilipinas, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Wow! Glory to God! Maaring sa tingin po natin ay maliit lang tong island, pero in the small things is where God brings glory. Doon po nag-glorify ang God with the small things. E pag tinanong po sa mapa ang Philippines, medyo maliit po siya. Pero yan po ay para na rin pong parable of the kingdom of God. It's like a small nation. But it will bloom like a tree that will extend its branches all over the world. Ang dami na po natin, mga taga-ibang bansa po. Binabati ko po ang mga taga-United States. Of course, lahat po ng mga followers din po ng uh, I Know My Assignment. Salamat sa aming team. Uh, salamat din po sa uh, mga nag-assist uh, po sa ito ay maging reality ngayon na ako ay nandito. Yan. So, hindi ko na po siguro ipakikilala ang sarili ko at marami po sa inyo nakakilala. Pero po doon sa mga nanonood po sa online, ako po ay uh, laking tansa kabite. Kabite niya po ako. Yan. At ako po ay uh, uh, <laughs> galing pong Florida at ako po ay nandoon na ng mga 25, 28 years na po. So, pero hindi pa rin po nawawala ang aking pagkakabite niya. Yan po ang isa sa culture ko. Pero alam niyo po ay na na rin po ako ng Amerika. So, meron din po akong culture ng Amerika. So, dual culture po ako. Pero we only have one ultimate culture. Yun na walang culture na ngayon ay atin ng binubungkal at atin ng pinalalago at ating uh, pinatataba dahil yun pala yung tunay na culture natin nung tayo ay isinilang. Una, uh, bago ako magsimula, gusto ko lang i-reveal ito kasi habang tayo ay nag-worship, habang tayo ay nag-worship at confirmation po din ni Lord kasi after ko nag-worship, Nakita ko po si Pastor So on his uh, worshiping. Kasi po, uh, I just was envisioning. Sabi ko, Lord, I was on my knees and I am giving up all of myself to you. When you give all of yourself to God, you know what I heard and what I saw in the Spirit? Sabi niya, I consider the kingdom of heaven upon you. So it means you have to give up something so that the kingdom of heaven will occupy you. You first. Una pong ma-occupy tayo. So sabi niya, oh my goodness, glory to God. And when the king speaks, pag nagsalita ang king, Even a short word, yun na po ay combination ng eternal time and eternal, uh, eternal things of this world. Talaga pong pasok, yun lang po. 
Kailangan ko lang po, kasi before po ako magsasalita talaga, hindi, kailangan ko po marinig si Lord. We need to hear from the King. We cannot pacify, we cannot manufacture, hindi po natin pwedeng i-manufacture ang sinasabi ng king para lang po tayo'y may masabi. So, hinihintay ko po lagi yan na king kahit one word, just one drop of the fresh living water all over my spirit, buhay na uli ang aking spirit. So, nakita ko po talaga, sabi ko, Lord, what are you doing right now? Sabi niya, you are the chosen ones. You have given up things. May ginib up po tayo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ginib up nyo ngayon ang oras ninyo. Saan man kayo. Wow, believe this and acknowledge this. Put your hand on your right shoulder right now. Palagay po natin, even online. And the Lord says, you receive, I confer the kingdom of heaven from the beginnings of this world upon you for the weight of the glory of the kingdom is so heavy that you cannot bring what you have in this world. You have to give up something. You have to give up your life. So as soon as I have bowed down before the king and surrendered and gave up, wow, glory to God, the kingdom of heaven has come and it is within you. Glory to God. At kaya po tayo nandito ngayon for just one reason and one purpose. Why? Because we want to advance the kingdom of God. Not just here in Cavite, but we want to expand to the whole world. For the kingdom of this world have been swallowed up. And we that have understanding are just now walking into that light of the kingdom. Na swallowed up na ang kingdom of darkness. So right now, glory to God, hallelujah. I declare light right now in heavenly atmosphere. Here, where we stand, it's a holy ground. It is a ground that has been established by the Father even before you were born. Even before your feet touched ground it was already ordained for you have been sent and then the lord just reminded me he said ang sabi po niya pastor dapin jabu reden pastor Saul, luis christian mga kaglala ko po lito sabi po niya di ba pinapadala niya mga angels Sabi niya, I send angels to the world. I send angels on earth. I send angels to minister to Jesus as well. And Paul, sabi niya, but it's not the angels that I need to send to the world. He needs his own image in the world. The angels is not in the image of God. Pero minsan pag angels, nagugulantang tayo. Para bang, wow! Wow, pang heaven talaga. ba Nasasyak tayo talagang na napapadapa tayo. But then if we look at ourselves, sabi ko, wow! I'm looking at myself so small. I'm looking at myself parang ipinadala din po tayo lahat, but not in a way from the atmosphere, but from the womb of your mother. Sa womb, pinalagat po tayo. Kaya ibahin po natin yung mindset na minsan talagang mas naniniwala tayo sa mga uh, mga angels na 
you know, iba po yung aking kultura dati, yung mga angels na nasa mga simbahan, talagang yun nahanap natin. Nagkakamali po na po tayo ng tingin. Wow! Ikaw man, ikaw man, ay galing sa kalangitan. Galing sa langit. Subalit, pinadaan ko sa womb ng inyong mother. Just like Christ. Na siya ay pinadala sa earth. Not like an angel of light. But a man that is filled with God's nature through the womb. So what's the difference? If Christ is, so are we. Hallelujah. Kailangan po nating tumayo ng mataas. Isuot po natin yung high heel shoes and boots natin that we are walking in a heavenly realm that nothing can touch us, that nothing can penetrate us. Glory to God. That your breath is a breath from heaven. Breath of heaven that sanitizes the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They want to put the mask. Why? They want to stop your breath of life to be released in the atmosphere. Wow. Glory to God. When the pandemic started, Pastor Dapin, I had like a vision and a revelation. I nakita ko po is like a when the pandemic comes, I see like a shield. And he said, no, it is your breath that will push away the power of darkness. So glory to God. You have to shout. You have to speak. You have to breathe unto others. That when you come, you're breathing life unto them. <sighs> Yan ang ating tunay na pagkatao ngayon sa kaharian. Kaya dapat malaman ng sanlibutan at noong buong mundo na naandito na, hallelujah, ang solution for the world. Heaven has come. Ulitin ko po uli, sabi po ni Jesus, the kingdom of God has arrived. Has arrived. Has arrived. Has arrived. Has arrived. What are we waiting for? It has arrived. Bakit naghihintay pa tayo until death to experience heaven? You know, in the very beginning, wow, I cannot start yet on my spirit topic. <laughs> But glory to God, I will go with the flow. Hallelujah. In the beginnings, God created the heavens and the earth. Heaven and earth. Yan po ay one in the beginning. It has been one originally. Why? Because God is one to himself. We have been one originally. Kahit maghihiwalay po tayo, you're in Canada, Kenya, kahit sa amang pong mundo, but then in the eyes of God, He's no respecter of a person. What does He see? He sees the Holy Spirit and Christ in us, in the kingdom realm, in the order and system of, our, of the heaven. Yan po tayo in the beginning, heaven and earth, kanta po natin, has become one. It's not, it's becoming one. It has become one. Hallelujah, glory to God. My spirit is yearning, yearning to pull, to push. Parang ang dami pong heavy burden and laden unto now because the kingdom 
is not in them in their understanding. Hindi pa po nila alam. Ang tagal nang nakatago. Tama si Pastor Jap Dapin. Dapat at Pastor Red at Coach Reden. Yung passion. Wow, glory to God. Because the heavenly realm, yung pong mga kanta natin, let it be so real sa buhay natin. When sinabi po natin, wag na lang pong word, word lang na overflow. But we are overflowing in the spiritual reality. And you bring that here on earth. Our Father who is in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done is for us. That we bring the kingdom here on earth in reality. Paano? Kailangan iparanas na po natin sa iba what heaven is like. So we still have to go through process, maturity, for the revelation of the kingdom will surpass the age of time. It will surpass this time. Kaya po laging may fresh revelation. Sabi po niya ba, Jabu, laging we lean on the Holy Spirit. Why? Every day, there's a fresh manna. Imagine ninyo, just going to the wilderness, may fresh manna. How much more for those who are working for the expansion of the kingdom? There will be fresh revelation every day. Every day, nakahanda na ang fresh bread and manna in the kingdom of God. So now the called, the called has to respond. He wanted us to rule and reign. Gusto niyang maranasan natin how to rule and reign here on earth just like Jesus did. But not with the mindset of this world. Ruling by dictation. Ruling by other systems of government, democracy, socialism, capitalism. Not in that kind of system. Now there is this governing system that is eternal. So even if democracy will pass away, capitalism will pass away, all things will pass away but not his word. And not the kingdom. Do you want to be in that place that will not pass away? I want to be in that realm. So today, ngayon po, magkakasama tayo to equip one another and train and be more like Christ. We have to be more like Christ. Bakit po? I'm going to speak today about the kingdom leadership. Yan po ang team natin. Kingdom leadership. Ang pamagat po is spectrum of kingdom leadership. Hallelujah. Yan po yung word so every time, meron pong talagang nire-release ang heaven sa bawat isa. The only thing is, are you open to hear it? Are you open to receive it? Is your heart willing to hear from the Lord? When you do, the Father is faithful. He will respond to you. He will honor you because you are a son, you are a child of God. So spectrum of kingdom leadership. The greatest model of leadership is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Siguro po, before na ma-realize ko about the kingdom, 
I should have known a lot about Jesus Christ. But I may have known about his works and his deeds, but I have not fully known him as, as a leader, as, as a model for me to follow. So the greatest model of leadership is Jesus Christ. Why is Jesus Christ the model of leadership in the kingdom? Jesus Christ is the God kind of man. Let it sink in muna po. He is a God kind of man. And he is also the man kind of God. So Jesus is heaven and earth. Jesus is heaven and earth. Kaya nung sinabi niya, repent, change your mind, for the kingdom of heaven has arrived. The heaven's realm is in him. He has the God kind nature and the mankind of God. Our God is a wise God. Alam mo, God is a God of law. God is a God of His Word. God is a God of integrity. But hindi na lang niya sinalanta uli ang creation to begin with another system or just do everything, start all over again. He cannot do that because he is bound by himself of the law. When Satan fell on the ground, on earth, the earth became and has translated itself into another law. It was the law of darkness and law of Satan. And the God abides by law. And how did he do that? How did he abide with his own law and his own word? Diba, pag may gera, kingdom to kingdom, even before the world or uh, the ages of time, mga Greeks, Romans, they cannot just annihilate they have, there, but there is a law that if you have to win a battle, you have to get in the realm and try to overtake it. So God himself has to obey that law. Because God is a God of law. So even God himself, imagine, even God himself put himself under his word. And according to Psalms, his word, he will not retract. The words and the, the, the things that God speaks will not be violated. So now, ito yung system na ginawa niya. Now I have to have a small spot, like Pastor or Coach Ray said, a Garden of Eden. Anong ginawa niya? He had a Garden of Eden, a small spot, so he can start to establish again heaven on earth. Hindi pa fully establish ang heaven on his rulership because Satan was still here. But he has to send someone that is of the earth so that, they, so that he can retrieve back the rulership in this world. So he has to go to the mankind that is also God kind. Without God's kind, it is impossible to rule the earth properly. There has to be a God kind in the earth, in man. And he is the source of all things, is God as well, and the concept of leadership begins with him. Even from the very beginning, even conquering the world, God himself
himself with Christ and the Holy Spirit showed how we can invade earth back into its original position. God did not do a shortcut. Hindi nag shortcut. Minsan, we want to have a shortcut. Di ba? But God himself showed patience because that's his nature. God himself showed perseverance because that's his nature. So definition of spectrum. Because this is what God has downloaded to me about leadership. Definition of spectrum is a condition, a condition that is not limited to a specific set of values, but can vary without steps across a continuum. Wow. So when I heard this word from God, spectrum, why did you put it in my spirit, the word spectrum? Yung spectrum is what? Anong naisip nyo unang-una sa spectrum? Pag sinabing spectrum. Spectrum of light. Spectrum of the rainbow. Great example, yung rainbow. Wow, hallelujah. Pag dinrowing po natin yung rainbow, may line, di ba? Yellow, orange, green, and purple. But in leadership, it is a spectrum where they overlap and blend in. For it is a continuum. It is a continuum of, of time, a continuum of expression of the heaven's nature of God's nature here on earth. It is a spectrum. It's not just one thing, but it's a combination and overlapping values that we are to live by. Kingdom leadership entails a spectrum of values to bring heavenly order. Hallelujah. That's why in the Holy Spirit, masyado tayong cutthroat. Diba? Sometimes we're so cutthroat. But the Spirit is flowing freely like a rainbow colors that blends and then it fades but then it, it becomes bright again and it fades because it is a flow of heavenly order. Even the world system is not enough. Even the world system of the kingdom, the regular world system is still corrupt to compare to the kingdom of God. We compare the kingdom of God, I know, to the system of the kingdom of the world. But it still is different. United Kingdom, Britain, still different. It's only a taste of what the kingdom of heaven is like. So we cannot limit. We cannot just limit. Allow yourself to have more room to understand and receive revelation of what you don't even see happening in this world. The things that we even see is not sufficient to describe the kingdom of God. Even the song, even our body, is not even enough to express the glory of his kingdom. Hallelujah. That's why when we praise and worship, 100% Pastor Dapin praising, 100% Pastor Christian praising, all 100% shall take over this room and beyond. Hallelujah. I am only giving three values today. Three values of kingdom leadership. Marami pong values. If you have my book, I have some values there. But like I said, every time I will be sharing, 
I wanted to hear a fresh revelation. I want to hear from God. Because not only will I speak, but I want God to teach me about the theme here in Mamlaka Broadcast. Because when you speak, you always want to hear from God. Why? Because we no longer are of this world. I have to pull out something that is out of this world to be contained in me. To be contained in every one of us. So the values like a spectrum is impact, influence, inspiration. Hallelujah. When I was working on this, God is just flowing. It's like a steps. It's like a progression. But he said, no, it's not. It's a continuum of these three things that he laid in my heart. Number one is impact. Wow, impact. Let's understand and know what the meaning of impact is. To make a jolt, to shake or force, to make an impression with power, hallelujah. To strike, to bump, to crash, or collide. Wow. Yung collide, matindi yan. Di ba alam ko kailan ka mababangga at babanggain, di ba? It means... Hallelujah. You have to be ready all the time. That's why Paul said in season and out of season, I have to be ready because I don't know what I'm going to collide with today. I didn't know what I'm going to collide with when I descended from the plane in Naia Airport. I don't know who I am going to collide with. And to imply contact between two things. This is very important. Next, please. The value of impact begins with an individual contact or direct connection. Impact is, involves immediate circle within your reach. It is a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Even Jesus started one-on-one. -on -one. That's why Jesus, what? He never really did a lot. Sometimes he will hide away. He said, it's not my time yet because I'm only supposed to collide with my disciples. I'm only supposed to collide with this woman with the issue of blood. I'm only supposed to collide with that uh, uh, man that is... And yung sinasapian that is possessed by demons. He has to collide individually. Kaya sabi ni uh, Coach Ray, the kingdom is about small beginnings. Sometimes we may become overwhelmed that you think you're not big and good enough and you don't have enough relationship or connections to impact others or influence them with the kingdom. But Jesus began with an impact and one in one encounter. An individual impact can be negative or positive, right? But na encounter natin one person, isa, two things lang naman yan in this world, di ba? Positive or negative. So may polarity. Positive bang vibes mo or negative bang vibes mo? Right? Yun ang system ng world. But then, yung kingdom impact is not neither positive or negative, but it is a heavenly impact. A heavenly impact that is above the polarity of the world. Why? The polarity separates. It separates positive and negative. But if you think about a heavenly impact, you're above the world. You're above the system of the world. Think of the things that are of above. 
Repent means to think of above. Metanoia. Pent. Pent. Oh, thank you. Pent means top. Penthouse. Saan kayo nakatira? Sa penthouse. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said, change your mind. What's your mind? Positive and negative? No. Change your mind to a heavenly mind that is above the kingdom of this world. Repent. That's where we have to work and get into the heavenly realm. Worshipping in the heavenly realm. Not the systems of this world. How does this world worship? That's not it. Change your mind. Be different. Why? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Impact says here, but as citizens of the kingdom, we are supposed to bring heavenly order. So we are supposed to have a heavenly impact. Impact that is not of this world, but is of our true world you have something that the world doesn't even know you have something that the world doesn't even understand but it's okay if they don't because you are living in a higher place and a higher ground a higher consciousness a higher awareness a higher understanding because jesus has overcome this world but how are we going to know the true world of heaven if we're not staying in it and living by it individually? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to experience that in our closet. We have to experience that in our own quiet time where no one is looking. That's where we will experience heavenly realm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell your next seatmate, I am out of this world. Tell your seatmate, I am out of this world. So pag nakikita nyo ang isang tao na kuupo, na kinakausap mo, hindi ka naririnig, they're not tuning you out. They are what? Out of this world? Why? Because the ears of the world is closed and shut up. And you're here for the heavens is open. You cannot have both. You cannot have both. You need to quiet down the ears for the world. Then you have to open your antenna. Yung antenna. Wow. Alam nyo, lahat tayo. We are all receivers. Mga receiver pala tayo lahat. Hallelujah. Thank you for the water. Ang rami yung antena. Antena to what? To capture the waves of heaven. Capture and receive and understand and transfer it to the world. Tell yourself, I'm a walking antenna from heaven. You have a satellite. A satellite that is of heaven. That's why Jesus was able to make an impact. Why? Because it is out of the mindset and out of the norm of the world. It is so impossible. But to him it is not. Why? Because he's receiving something from the Father. He only does what the Father is doing. He only speaks what the Spirit is saying to him. So we are a walking antenna. Let me show you how Jesus impacted people during his time. 
Let's go to John 8, 7 to 12. It says there, and as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. When I was reading this, God gave me this verse, and he said, look at the word throw. Throw a stone at her. Ano yung meaning ng impact? Collide, jolt, and shake. Sabi ni Jesus, whoever is without sin among you, make an impact to her. Cause an impact because of your judgment. Throwing is a force. I said, wow, glory to God. Where will I stand with this verse? He said, and once more, he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away. How many? One by one. Hindi rin sabay-sabay. So impact has something to do with one person at a time. He said, throw a stone at her. It means all of us is carrying something. They are already ready to throw a stone at the woman, right? But then Jesus made an impact here by just saying those words. Ang sabi nila, nagsulat sa ground, baka pangalan ni, ano, pangalan ni Nancy, and then may date 1989, and then November 11, and like, oh, ano kaya yun? Ay, oo nga, babatuhin rin pala ako. Alis na ako. Kasali pala ako sa dapat batuhin. That's what they, others are saying, right? The scholars. But it says here, when they heard it, he only spoke one word or sentence there, but it impacted one by one. And he said, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. But kaya, <laughs> I don't know, beginning with the older ones. Why? Kasi yung older ones, yun ang mga matitigas ang system and mindset. Kasi yung mga older ones, yan na yung na-imprint na ang system of the world. Pero sila yung naunang apektuhan. Sila ang unang tinamaan. Kaya yung mga older mindset natin, yun ang unang tinetarget, tinatarget ni Jesus. Yun ang inuuna niya. Why? Because the time in this world is passing away. Yung mga next generation, they have the time, but then, you know, they still can hear. But the older ones, yun ang kailangan na instant impact. Na right at that moment, you are with me in paradise. When Jesus said to the thief, you will be with me in paradise. Wow, hallelujah, glory to God. One on one. But now, look at Jesus. And dami na, kilala na siya sa whole world. Because of the continuum of his life as a model for us on how to live as well. Hindi tayo iniwanan ni Jesus na wala tayong model at example. Jesus want to make an example for us how to live from above. Diba? Jesus is from above that came down. So yung mindset niya must be from above. So Jesus stood up and said to her, oh, it says, Jesus was left alone with the woman. Wow. He was just left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. Wow, what a powerful declaration. 
How did this woman know that Jesus will not condemn him? She said, no one, Lord. That's like an act of faith. No one, Lord. She already sensed something different with Jesus. She said, no one, Lord. And then Jesus said, according to your faith, I'm just paraphrasing this, go and sin no more, and neither do I condemn you. I'm only adding the word, okay? It's a Bible. As Jesus said, no one, Lord, and neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Look, hindi naman yung disciples, di ba? Ano yung ginawa ni Jesus? One-on-one -on -one encounter, and she sent the woman because of what he did to her as well. Nag-impact siya sa buhay nitong woman. Go, ang sabi niya. And then ano sabi niya? And from now on, sin no more. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Wow! Bakit, paano mo ikukumpara na light of the world? Right? Because they're operating under the law. The law that if a woman is sinning, that you are be cast out to death. But God, Jesus, came with another law. He moved away the law and the system of the world. He applied it because he knew that his law is above the law of the system of the earth and of this world. The law of faith of the woman, the law of mercy and forgiveness, yan yung mga laws na inapply niya, which is what? He said, I am the light. I am now the understanding and wisdom and the system that is above your law. And Jesus spoke to them, whoever follows me, hallelujah, will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Walk with me. So it means hindi lang tayo lagi nag-iisang walking in our own thinking. It always has to be with the light first. Lagi tayong naka-lean sa Holy Spirit. Always trying to listen what is appropriate to say, what is uh, effective to say, and what the timing is as well. So he said, whoever follows me will not work in darkness, but will have the light of life. So it means there should be a light in our life. The light that God brought through his son, Jesus. Just let me know po yung time, if I have to stop a little bit. And so here, impact you can cause an impact as a leader and as that of a son of God as being right and light. Do what is the right thing and not just the good thing. And then write not by outer law, the outside law, but write by the inner flow of the Holy Spirit. You are carrying the law of God. The law of the supernatural and the natural is upon you. That's why he said, I confer to you the law of the kingdom of heaven. Implement and occupy with this law. And light as one exposing truth and grace of God as his nature. Iba sabi niya sa Matthew, You are the light of the world. Wow! Ang bigat niyan. Can I be really light of the world? Can I be really that light that God has spoken upon me? So light means to emit or to give off 
not positive and negative words, but what? Heavenly words and heavenly understanding. Wow! Kaya dapat pala talaga, pag nag-isip ka, hindi matatanto ng iba. Bigla na lang kumuha ka ng sariwang bunga sa tree of righteousness. May bungang binalik ka. A everlasting bunga. Everlasting fruit. He said, fruit that shall last and remain and fruit that is eternal. So hindi tayo nauubusan. Nauubusan lang tayo dahil nililimit natin sarili natin of what we already know and we're not willing to go further. There's still something beyond out there. Light means to radiate and shine power generated by the nature of its source. Pag madilim dito, binuksan mo ang light. Anong first impact? Yung mata mo gaganyan, di ba? Masilaw ka. Yan ang impact ng leaders of the kingdom. Pagpasok mo pa lang, Woo! Silaw ako dyan. Woo! Ang mga demons going and running away. Woo! Naging malinis ang air. Woo! May kakaiba dyan. Oh, why? Di ba? But not the way the world sees it. Kasi ang world may ibang dating. They have a system. Pero Jesus' system is what we need to do which we will discuss later on. So light is a person or a thing and it's not just a it's not just a concept. A person and not a thing or concept. Kasi sabi niya, you are the light of the world, Ambajabu. So light is not a thing and just a concept. It's a person. Hindi ko pa maabot yun. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hindi pa ako dun. <laughs> Dami pa. Pagdating mo, talagang wow. ba? That's why God is so good with His mercies and grace and love. Siya pa rin. We still may fall short of the glory of God. But it's the glory of Christ carrying us upon His shoulders. The glory of God, the light of God, carrying us upon His shoulders. Yun pa rin si Jesus, carrying us. Because why? We took the yoke with Him, right? Pag nanghina yung kabilang yoke, Jesus will still move you forward. Kahit nakaamba ka na lang lagay niyan, amba dyan po. Ika, tuloy. Why? Because Jesus is with you, always. Another government is taking you through the system of this world. A government that is not of this world. We need to understand this government of the kingdom. So that is the number one impact. One on one. That means individual impact. Then we're going to go to influence. Do we have to take a break or ano po tayo? 11 o'clock. Okay. Influence is the next spectrum. So impact comes in one-on-one. -on -one. Influence now is another power that extends beyond impact. Influence by definition means capacity or power of persons or things to be a compelling force on or produce effects on the actions, behaviors, and opinions of others. So influence, as we all know, is power. Wow, glory to God. Influence is power and force to move and impel on others or things into act 
acting differently. You are bringing another force. Not the positive force or negative force, but it is the heavenly force. All of these values are all heavenly. The kingdom leadership is about heavenly kingdom, heavenly force, heavenly influence, heavenly impact. Influence is power to change or affect something within a sphere of territory. Now you're going behind impact. You're going on influence. Influence is power in emanation. Wow, galalim nitong word na to. Emanation of spiritual or moral force. Hallelujah. Imagine the physical force ang lakas pag nabangga ka. Glory to God. The spiritual force should go beyond. Woo! Influence. Woo! Beyond your impact. Lampas. Hallelujah. Hindi makontain ng just one person. But influence. A force of the Spirit. Kaya yung mga slain by the Holy Spirit. Ha, yung bi, yung nano na lang. Wow, you're so filled with the Holy Spirit. That's a spiritual force. From where? That's not from this world. Walang tumulak sa'yo para matumba ka. Ano nangyari? The Holy Spirit filled you. And the force started something in you to begin to speak in tongues. To begin to be bold. Powerful force. We have to look at ourselves. I want this force, Father God. I want this in my life. I want this first before the others, God. Because I cannot influence others if I don't know it myself. Because like I said, the light is a person. You. Emanate means to arise and to spring. Wow. Ibig sabihin, galing from inside out. Wow, glory to God. Pag binuksan pala natin ang mga puso natin eh, yun talaga puno, di ba? Yung pressure, the pressure to speak about the love of God, the pressure to forgive, the pressure to bring them understanding, the pressure inside you is boiling up so you can emanate, release the glory of God and the nature of God. Kailangan ng vessel of the invisible to the visible. Pag uwi nyo, check nyo yung charge nyo sa bahay. <laughs> Lagay nyo dito yung, ano ba yun? Yung meter. Meter nyo yung sarili nyo. Look at your voltage. <laughs> Look at your voltage. <laughs> You know, normally, physically, I have a vault. Lahat tayo may electricity. Positive, negative, right? Minsan nga, pag hinawakan ko si brother Ray, biglang, bay, para ako nasyak ah. Humawak ako sa pinto, nasyak ako. Wow! But the voltage of the kingdom of God is not destructive, but it is constructive. Bringing the best out of you from the very molecule of your body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Grabe. Pag nagsasalita ako dito, I am not far. I'm not, I'm not just that close to it. Ang dami pa. Hallelujah. <laughs> Puno ba tayo lagi? Are we always filled with a jolting force and influence and release a heavenly polarity? Influence. Let's go to Matthew 13, 33. And this is a very popular verse. He told them another parable. 
The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. As we know, Jesus always want to put the three there. That's why I only put three values of leadership. Three measures of flour. Gano kaya ang size ng leaven na ina dun? Bible scholars. Did they say in Hebrew how much you put in a measure of a leaven? Siguro baka isang kutita lang. Konti lang. And then another verse about you being an influence is you are the salt of the earth. Salt is also an agent of influence. Ano sabi dyan? You. Sabi, hindi niya sinabing, you have. <laughs> hindi niya sinabing, you have. Right? Woo, tindi nun. It means I have to go in the lion's den. <laughs> and I don't have anything to give to the lion. But I am the food for the lion that I have to go there. You. Not just to give off, but it is you. Receive this in your heart and spirit. Now I am the salt of the earth. Nag-iwan ng will and testament sa iyo si Jesus. Sabi niya, ikaw ang salt of the earth. The salt during those times is so valuable. Alam nyo, yung salt noon, di ba, mga pastors, the word sal means salary. Yan ang ibinabayad. Think about yung money ngayon. Yan, you are the salt. Ikaw ngayon ang itinatransak ng heaven sa earth. Ikaw na ngayon ang, ang monetary system ng heaven sa earth. Ikaw na ngayon not what you have. Ikaw. At hindi. Oh, glory to God. Kaya dapat pala, spread tayo. Why? Magsasama-sama tayo, magpalakasan. Pero pag mag na tayo, ikaw yan. Bakit? May Holy Spirit ka. Holy Spirit na ang influence mo dyan sa'yo, in you, and that's gonna work on the others. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, Go! Go out into the world. Yun ang great commission niya eh. To go. Next slide, please. Influence begins in small beginnings. Hallelujah. Coach Ray said about this, it's a small beginning. Because the salt is very small, but it can change the whole taste of a food. Yung plaza, Bakit alam niyong kulang ng salt yung pagkain pag matabang? Right? Yung agad yung hinahanap eh, salt. And then influence extends beyond individual or immediate impact. Yan na, nanda na. Yung leaven, ikaw, iba, it's like a yeast. Yung parable na yon is like a yeast. Kinocompare niya who you are as a salt just like expanding and moving everything around you with a different effect and taste. Tagapagpalit ka pala ng lasa ng mundo. Mapait ba ang mundo sa'yo? Madamot ba ang mundo sa atin? Matamis ba masyado? Sabi niya, ako ang salt of the earth. Kaya pala maalat mga kingdom eh. Alam mo, alam mo, takot ang iba sa salt eh. Kasi alam nila, magagapi sila ng salt. I'll explain that later. Influence works in silence. And I want to emphasize this, everyone. It works in silence and unseen seen. There is a scenario that you cannot see and observe. 
Diba? The kingdom of God doesn't come with observation. You cannot see and observe it. It just becomes. Because it's releasing something into the atmosphere and to the environment. And to the community. Impact is about individual. Influence is about community and city. Kaya pag tayo nagsama-sama, we are like a city of light. Right? Pag ang buong Pilipinas ay nag-light, now we become a nation of the nations. So dapat tayo muna ang maging what God is saying who we are. If He said, you are, then I am. Kaya God said, I am. Because if you look for me, I am that I am in you. The I am is the I am in you. Who are you? I am the I am that is in me. I am in the kingdom of God. I am what God says I am. Not just by mouth. Go deep and get the word, I am who God says I am. That's why there's no more fear. Why? Because I am with the I am. I am is flowing freely from the heavens and within me. And me is flowing in the Father. Me and the Father are one. What happens to me happens to the Father. And what the Father does, I should do as well. Hallelujah. Now we become an influencer when we begin to cause a change and bring something different in the community. Yeah, na. It's like the leaven. Nagsisimula na. Right? Yeast. Let's go what the yeast is. Yeast influence the dough by allowing the dough to release what activates it. Okay. Balik tari natin to, ah. Di ba yung yeast? Yeast added to the dough will cause the dough to rise up because it has an agent. But the dough has an agent as well that will activate the yeast to release its power. That's why sabi niya, go to the world. Hey, nasa world ang activation mo. Nasa world ang activation of who you are. Do not separate yourself from the world. Why? Yung mga problems, dyan ka, ina-activate ka ng problem to release the solution. Hallelujah. Iniiwasan natin problems. We walk away from it. But if you know who you are, that problem will activate something more powerful and more visible that is not seen of the world. Hallelujah. Whew. Kasi ang yeast, pag hindi basayan, hindi ma-activate. Ang dough, may moisture. So there is something in this world that will activate you to release. Hallelujah. Salt. Well, yeast. Yeast have to linger. Kaya ang yeast, magtagal ka dun. Kung gusto mo ng influenza, pwede kang maka-impact, and then yung in-impact mo, go. Pwede kang mag-influence, I'll stay here, hanggang community, maapektuhan mo. Yung third level, mataas pa yun. So you have to stay and linger and persist inside the dough. 
Yung mga pressure, troubles, kailangan nakatayo pa rin tayo doon. Yun ang mag activate Now, look at the salt. How can a salt influence its surroundings? Salt releases its nature into the mixture that changes the quality of it as an environment. So again, yung salt ay kailangan ding mayroong water and moisture so that it will melt. Once it melts, it's just like a seed. Once it melts, it then spreads out and infect the whole environment. Tunaw na ba tayo? Wow. Every time na pupunta tayo sa ibang lugar, natutunaw ka ba, Pastor Dapin? Ha? Natutunaw ka ba pag nandun ka sa isang lugar? Natunaw ka ba doon? Nag- naiwan ba yung dapat mong iwanan doon? Na-influensyahan mo na. Yung seed is also, hindi lang natin nakita, influence of the environment. Why? Kasi yung seed activates the soil of its purpose. <laughs> Kasi usually makikita natin, the seed will start to grow. But when the seed falls on the ground, the ground is activated to release water into the seed. The ground is activated to release nutrients to the seed. Hallelujah. So yung soil, nag-double work na ngayon. Bakit? Nandun ka. Na-activate mo ngayon ang purposes of other people. Diba? The kingdom is about the purpose of God. Pag nandun ka, na-activate mo tuloy yung purpose ng iba. Why? Because you're there. Even without saying a word, just being you. The kingdom of God or the children of God is the seed of the kingdom. Imagine mo, laking Pilipinas, buto. Philippines, seed. Activated ang surroundings. Why? To pour into the seed. There's power in the seed that draws something from its environment. It's a law. It's automatic. Law. Alam ng ground pag seed ka. Pag bato ka lang, hindi ka niyan isnabin ka niyan. Pag bato, isnabing ka niyan. Hindi mag-uugat yan sa'yo. Sabi ng soil, yoko dyan. Hindi ako. Bakit? The soil becomes visible in a tree. The soil becomes visible in a tree. Yung soil is from below, but with the kingdom, the soil has to come up and the nature of the soil is in the tree. The water in the soil is the same water inside the tree. So now the water in the soil says, glory to God. I'm no longer on the ground. I am up with the tree. Yung tree, pinakita yung water na nasa ilalim. Same water yan. Pati yung nasa clouds and rain. Pati nature, tatayo. Yung water, nasa ground lang, di ba? Without the seed. Once na nagbunga na, sabi niya, Teka, cultivate natin to para tayo tumaas. Yung water, tumataas na from the ground. That's why it says, heaven and earth are one. The tree, the seed, and the soil are one. Invisible and visible are one. The purpose of the soil will not be validated if there's no seeds. Right? And the seed will not be validated without the soil. Hallelujah. Soil activates. Seed activates the soil for its purpose. 
Wow, ang titindi ninyo ah. Titindi ng mga kingdom citizens. Salt like a yeast and light and seed. Lahat yan, declare natin. I am the seed of the kingdom of God. I will make things new. Because everything that comes out from me are new. Because I'm a new creation. Everything that comes out of me has to be new. Because I am of a new creature, new man in Christ. All right. So don't tell magtatapos for now about influence. And we will move on inspiration in a little bit. So right now, declare right now. Say this with me. I, I am the I am of above. I am sent as a seed of the kingdom. I am like a yeast that will bring this world into the highest level for his glory. Hallelujah. And I am the salt that God says I am. Kaya humanda ka. Amen. Hallelujah. We will take a break for now. Thank you. Salamat po sa mga na-online. We will 